Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 is India. So before we start playing today, I want to clarify one thing because there are some suggestions and questions and comments about like possible further expansion, how that would affect my plan for nom domination victory. I mean, I could definitely start more cities. There are some pretty decent city locations, especially to the north. Here would be a great city, for example. But uh, I don't want to grow anymore. This is a uh, like, conscious decision and... Uh, something I would like to see in this game. It's possible to stay with only a few cities, grow as tall as possible. We have a safe that wants to go tall, so I want to stay with few cities, go as tall as possible, and see how difficult the game will be with this uh, decision. Same for, like, possible expansion, uh, because there are definitely some cities here that we could maybe take, get rid of, but I don't want to. I want to, the AIs to do whatever they want and just see if I can beat them in... 100% pacifist game. So that's what we're gonna stick to and um, now what's the plan for this episode? Um, we need to focus on our capital, get all the buildings that we are still missing so that we can focus on other things, get diplomatic units. Uh, we also need some more military units probably. We don't even have enough to get garrisons everywhere. We are like what eight units behind the cap. So I would like to stay on the cap uh, it's not uh, that like the number is not that big and it won't grow like super fast so we don't want to look weak uh the ais should be quite uh, pacifist in this patch overall but i think if we just stay on like five units they would attack because we basically don't have anything to defend ourselves with so we will have to get to the cap at some point and we need our capital to do that for us so that's the plan and we'll see how quickly our other cities can catch up if they will ever be able to catch up because that's one thing I don't like about the non-authority games. Authority gives your secondary city so much extra production uh, that um, it's not a problem for them to keep up and you don't have the extra production from that. Uh, they kind of suck because the timers... Uh, actually, it's not that bad anymore, but it's partially because of a golden age. And especially like in the very early game, it just takes forever to, to build anything. And uh, then the problem transfers into like mid game and sometimes even late game that you fall behind early so much that, that all you are doing with your secondary, secondary cities is just try to catch up. And you have the, this endless line of buildings that you just can't build in time. So we will see what we can do about that. I, eventually, I think because you'll have the ability to fade by uh, great engineers, I'll try to get at least one manufacturer for uh, all our secondary cities. Hopefully that will help. I think ideal would be getting like three manufacturers around our capital and two manufacturers for all other cities. But I don't think we'll be able to get that many great engineers. Okay, so, oh, there is one target now also. I want to, f to get Kahokia on our side. We have now one quest. They want our religion, so that's some influence there. And maybe if we get... Another quest is definitely possible to get another decent quest, plus uh, some diplomatic units. We are working on a, on a great diplomat already, so let's see if we can flip the city. Uh, two of our cities want uh, coral already. That is here, and we have to keep an eye on our capital. We have to make sure that we have we love the king day in our capital for as long as possible. But well, enough talking. Let's start playing, so we'll end the turn. Let me actually check... Make sure that I didn't forget anything. No, in six turn our golden age and so we'll see how the numbers change then. <laughs> okay, let's check here. Uh, ships. It's quite a lot of units. Yeah, we'll need more units here. And they'll sit somewhere on the coast, so in case America decides to attack, they'll have to move units through the sea. So if he decides to do something, that we can just destroy them before you, before they have time to disembark. I'm actually quite nervous now about America. Uh, okay, fine. Let's move north. There is no way to go in the south. I checked, and uh, we really don't have anywhere to go. Up. There might be an option here, but I don't think so there are just too many mountains so instead i'll go up here see if we can explore a bit more on this side we need to find more city states we need uh, quests when you when you stay like small with only a few cities the rewards from city states are 
pretty significant. The, the, the wider you go, the less important it is. Okay, next. We'll also enter Medieval Era soon. And then we'll switch those cheap tags that we are still missing, so it will help us to catch up a little bit. But it will also give us access to more buildings that we will have to somehow build. And that's a problem for our, as I said, for our secondary cities, they are already behind. And we'll be just getting more and more tags, more and more buildings. Let's see what we can do about that. That is iron. We'll be able to sell. Yeah, I don't think we need to keep any strategic resources uh, until we get coal, basically. That's one resource that we will want to get uh, for the production that we can get from it. But um, we'll be relying mostly on ranch units, so no need. Uh, or those don't need any strategic resources. Okay, next. There's one thing that I'm not sure about. There's a peace treaty, and that's a road here, if I should get it or not. Because, um, hmm. We can just get a connection with, um, with the lighthouse, right? And this is very long road, but if we want to, like, properly, properly spread our religion at the maximum effect, of the pressure, the road helps. So I think I will just make the investment. We'll be paying a lot for this road. But there is also a chance that at some point Mogadishu ask us for asks us for a road, then we could just build two tiles and that quest would be done in no time. <clears throat> it's not guaranteed that happens, but uh, when you have city states this close, they usually want the road at some point. So we'll see. Okay, we can we can probably lock this. If you want to grow. What if I just uh, switched here and improve this tile as soon as possible? I think I'm gonna do that. And yeah, we want the writer's guilds. Mm. Let me read the description exactly. Two specialists. Mm. One special in the city, no longer produces unhappiness. Because we don't have to work the guild right away. Just do we get enough from it when we don't work the specialist still? I actually don't think that it's worth it building before we get uh, especially amphitheater. Checking luxuries. Oh no, this doesn't give us anything from luxuries. We actually have only, only gems here. Religious pressure. You know what? Let's do it this way. Pro uh, not herbalist writer's guild. Something like this. Next. There is. Yeah. Oh, that's Angkor Wat, actually. That's not University of Sankor. Um, let me check. Does he have. Education, 779, University of Sankor, uh, that's, where the hell is University of Sankor? Oh, that's here. I mean, University of Sankor, Angkor Wat, of course. 774, 74, so these two are already taken by someone. No one has physics, no one has steel, and no one has education, so we will be able to get the University of Sankor. Um... Free mosque. Is it even worth it? The scientist point is nice. What, is, what does mosque give? Fifteen per. Person culture in the city during golden ages, minus one from illiteracy, and it gives science and faith. Yeah, sure. It's not the best wonder ever, but I mean, it gives a little bit of uh, like almost everything, so might as well get it. Um, okay, now the decision. Well, first of all, we are working this tile, so let's improve it. The road is done. Um, this worker will have to 
handle all the tiles around here. One thing that we want is to get a work boat. We have a work boat here. Oh, and we lost the stone. Yeah, I expected that. How long is this gonna take? Four turns. So if I send you two, three, three, and three. So if I send this worker here, this one here, and this one will work here. Each of them will have three tiles to work on to get this road up and running. Really not happy about it, but I think in the long run I should build it. Um, next. Okay, do we still have time? Get through, yeah, we do. Uh, capital is growing. So, specialist slots. Don't care about merchants for now. This would be a musician. I don't care about musician. We had quite a few artists, so for now I'll pass on that. How long would it take to get the musician, by the way? If it's only, I don't know, 12, I mean 12, 20 turns or something like that, I'll probably do it 22. Okay, fine, let's get one. That's another uh, great work. And then we're gonna switch away from the specialist slot into more growth. I start growing pretty quickly, even with the, the specialist, slot, specialist slot locked, though. <clears throat> Next. So, it's gonna be a farm. There's education now. Let's check the cost again, 774. Okay, so we so are the first one to get education. Golden Age ended. How, the, how did it affect the time? That's plus two, more than plus two, plus three or plus four turns here. We lost like 14-ish gold per turn. It's actually not that bad. Hmm. And why the hell did the board recruit this way? Shouldn't this be a priority? It grew over a river. Onto a mountain. There, here is a luxury and there isn't a river between these two towns. Why wouldn't it grow here? Is it because it's behind the mountain? Probably. Oh, hello, Valeto. What do you want? Conquer Almaty. Where is Almaty? Here's Almaty. And you want... 123 influence. And 171 general points for that stupid camp. Fucking hell. How long is there? 24 turns remaining. This, another option is to get alliance with both of them. And by destroying this camp, we would get alliance with Almaty already. So then it would be only about getting 60 influence with Valletta. How long would it take to train two diplomats? Uh, or emissaries? Nine turns for one. Uh, I'd have to get two and... Uh, well, I can't get two with one paper. So unless I figure out a way how to get 30 influence, it's not gonna happen. And it's 30 influence without an emissary. Uh. Would give us influence. Hmm. 
Wait, how uh, long would it take to get the Great Diplomat? 11. That's more than enough. So if we get to this camp and destroy it, we will be able to get alliances with two more city-states for a very long time. We have one more unit somewhere. We have one here. But before he gets there, the camp is probably going to be destroyed. Okay, I'll just send the two composite bows. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like ten turns to get there. Don't think this is going to happen, but it's definitely worth it to try. Okay, you can stay where you are. Next. Hmm. It's one. That's two. Start working on library. Like that. I could buy this fish, but I don't want to. If I'm gonna buy tiles, it's gonna be down here. Well, I guess I'll just stick to this for now, and we're gonna switch the specialist slot when it's available. And we need to get a farm here as well to improve those yields. Um, now, about buying tiles down here, one option is to buy buildings in the capital. And another option is to buy these tiles. Are we gonna get anything that we could sell? It's actually a pretty good tile without any improvements yeah now we don't have to worry about the fish we blocked the tile that mattered, mattered. and we have what 100 gold now next We don't care about uh, emissaries going for Valeta. We'll just kick everyone out when we get the great diplomat. It's really about the camp. If the, uh, if um, Polynesia destroys it before we can get there, um, go here. Oh, we can just check if, if there is if we can see anything from here, and then go somewhere. I think I'm just going to control these two manually. Uh, how is our religion? It's spread to Mumbai, right? Uh, do we have any pressure here? No. All the other people have pressure here. Hmm. I will just get the one profit that I'll use to spread our religion a little bit. Maybe flip, I don't know, these two, Cahokia and uh, something. I could try to completely flip uh, Brazil. Military theory. It's 
Let's focus on gold a little bit. We have... Once we get libraries up everywhere, the science should be decent. Let me check if we have markets everywhere. We don't have a market here, but damn, the city needs more production. Let's hope that Polynesia comes back to us with declaration of friendship. Uh, how long would it take to get a profit right now? 34. It's actually pretty, pretty fast. There's no pressure here. Holy crap. We do have pressure in Mogadishu, so we're gonna flip that. Yeah, I need the profit. I, with the profit, I think I'm gonna flip these four cities, or maybe even I could I could uh, skip this one and go for these four cities and just uh, how many cities do I have? Four. Make sure that we have one AI following our religion right from the start, basically. Next. Oh, why did you move only one time? Oh, there's a stupid river again. Okay, which way? We want to keep exploring, we have to go all the way back. Oh, speaking about University of Sankor that I wanted to build. If I want it, I should probably start working on it. I think once the current trade routes are done, I'll send two trade routes to our capital with food. Just need to get to like size 25 or maybe even like 30 plus as soon as possible. Well, 12 isn't bad. It's not good enough for what we are trying to do. Next. Okay, just out of curiosity, how many points would we get? 400? Yeah, that sucks. Would it be worth it? Shaving off like 8 Terrans to get the, the Fealty open faster. Because Fealty is growth, right? Currently we are at 28. No, 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 no. Seriously? Minus four turns for grade. Oh wait, we got the extra culture just by popping the, the great person. So who is next? The next is the diplomat. And uh, there's the caravan. Uh, just out of curiosity, what are we getting here? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's a lot. And there is no way, like, 
12 food. I think that's what would what, what the capital would be getting from the trade route. That 12 food for our capital is worth more than this. Okay, never mind. The other trade route will switch to food. And should have been sending food already if I didn't misclick. Uh, when do we get the next trade route? Here. Checking the tech count 18, 25. That's still seven techs behind. Thought that we would be catching up a little bit now. Next. Oh, come on. Okay, there is no way we get this anymore. Uh, well, back to the original plan. We'll get Kahokia next. Just thinking if it's worth it sending the great diplomat there. I think it is. You should get enough diplomats in this game to get the embassies later. Why are you not... What the... Rook cancelled? Why would it be cancelled? It's not blocked. Why would the hell would it be cancelled? Next. There we go. That's something we are interested in. Oh, and by the way, let's forget about the workload. Um, or maybe let's get the workload and then lighthouse. How much money do we have to 48? I'll pay for the lighthouse. Because we will have to work the sea tiles. We might as well make them decent. Five, seven. That's not a huge difference. What does it look like with the with the engineer? Twenty one. So the next engineer is going to Varanasi. Next. Um, this is what I wanted. We're checking if anyone else research education. Because if uh, Pedro gets education in like next four turns, he could still beat us to the, uh, the university. Okay, so how are we doing here? Could 
do some food. Let's get herbalist. Barracks Arena. The universities will just have to wait. Because right now we are getting tags much faster that we can take advantage of them. Probably even cancel the university and focus on the, the normal buildings. There's so much we are uh, not getting from them. Yeah, it really feels like the university is a trap in this case. It just doesn't give us that much. So is, how much is that? Five faith, three science, one culture, and scientist point. Uh, that's the combined yields from the mosque and uh, the wonder itself. Plus a little bit of science here and there. How much time did I invest in that? Four turns? No, it's not worth it. There'll be one more change in six turns when we get access to the reservoir. I'm not cancelling the, the wonder because I want to get that a little bit of culture when someone builds it. doing here by the way come on show me the influence okay we don't have to worry about that If it's enough to actually kick them out, I'm not sure how much influence do we get. Where is it? Yeah, it would be nice to know how much exactly. Okay, well, let's find out. Trying to figure out what's the best 
position for farms here. If I get farms, is there any river anywhere? No. If I get farms here, I can get a village here, here, but then I won't be able to get farms here. Eh. Honestly, as India in this patch, it's probably it's better to get farms everywhere. Just ignore villages. And I could just rebuild it later if I really wanted to. Uh, move? Why are you not moving? Next. Look at that! Those gems are mine! There's so gonna be a great general here. Or by great general, I mean a citadel, of course. More fish. Can they. They could even steal the stone. I mean, I don't care about that. I just don't want them to steal this tile. Because that's where I'll get the citadel. Um, how are we growing? Yeah, we will never get this town naturally, so if I want it, I have to buy it. Next. Your city converted? No. How much are you offering? Hmm. I'll try to sell it for flood gold. Don't really want one gold per turn. Checking the numbers, the pressure. I mean, it's going up steadily. It's like double of what we started with. Next. Oh, I forgot to check the trades. Damn it. Okay, so where do we get the most? Circus Maximus is nice, really nice. We just don't have time for it right now. Uh, extra production for manufacturers is also nice. It's only six turns, but we need that extra caravan. So currency into metal casting.
into theology, we want to have gardens. The civil service. I'm pretty, uh, or I'm really interested in open borders with like almost everyone on the map. We need to explore more. We need to find more city states. So it's civil service next. And then we'll see. I'm strongly considering chemistry and try to get uh, a leaning tower. But it depends on where the others decide to go. No one has steel yet. With a very pacifist game, it's possible that the ass will kind of ignore the side of the tech tree. It might be possible to get the leaning tower. Next. Come on, disappear. Didn't I say that I will check the trades for iron? So, 130. You have 188. And with the religion, we will, or we will, we should be able to maintain the alliance. Okay. Might seem like waste buying an empty desert tile, but I really, really want to steal these two tiles eventually. Remember, this city, one of the reasons why we started was that it had access to five stone. And out of the five stone, we've already already lost one. And Portugal will get this stone as well, most likely, before we do. So I want to get it back. Also, I want, if I can get the, the luxury back at the same time, sure. We don't have any real use for great generals, so we'll just see where we can steal the most with them, and this is a good tile. If they got, uh, if, they, if the Portuguese board grew here, actually wait, I'm an idiot. I thought this, this tile was in, was in uh, range of the city, it's too far. Never mind, let's just forget about everything that I said, this is also out of range. Really? Am I really that blind? I was convinced that this, these two tiles were in the range of Braga. Well, still. Um, I'll get the citadel anyway to get the gems back. And the citadel here, if America decides, or even if Portugal decides to attack, the, the citadel will be a pain in the ass. So it will help us to defend our southern border in case the game doesn't go as pacifist as uh, we want. Um, okay, trading, 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 trading. Who gets the iron? Oh, we lost all the declaration of friendship. So no cash. Listen, dude, you're friendly. Let's discuss a declaration of friendship. No. Why? Hmm. Do you want iron? Oh, you do. What about two iron for three gold per turn? Let's try four. Not even three. Come on. Oh! Okay. 
definitely looked like he wouldn't accept that. But sure, I'll take it. And one more turn. Get the Wheel of the King Day in two cities. Peace. What was the peace? Oh, that's the that's the two city states they were fighting. And what the hell do you want here? Construction project from Kahokia. Really? Oh wait, that's not Kahokia. Um, oh, that's the peace treaty that's... Okay. There is Kahokia. Build five forges. Sure. I'll do that. That's actually quite a high priority. Had I known that uh, we'd get this quest, I wouldn't uh, burn the diplomat here. Because these are both quite easy to uh, complete. But at least the, the alliance will be stronger. Uh, we can fade by an order here. Yes. Damn, those things take forever to build. And this one is going to be worse. I think I'll have to pay for at least a few. Okay, is there anything important going on? 10 turns, we get next social policy. How does it look with the great people? So we'll now get scientist and five musician six that will uh, allow us to unlock this specialist. I'll probably move him to Writer's Guild. Thirteen for engineer. Then it will be a writer. That's gonna be definitely less than thirty-three. Need more people. A lot more people. Oh well, it's gonna be next time. We are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.